Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na ito ay magsasolve tayo ng circuits using source transformation. So kung gusto nyo ito ang matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time is isasolve lang natin yung challenge problem ko before sa video ko about source transformation for DC circuits. So meron kasi akong question doon sa last part na Sasagutin natin yung required doon sa circuit using source transformation. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung previous video ko about source transformation for DC circuit, isililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Okay? So, ito yung problem natin doon. So, find IO in the circuit below using source transformation. Okay, so meron tayong circuit dito. Hanapin daw natin yung current IO or yung current flowing through 7 ohm resistor using source transformation. Okay, so sige, solve natin. So, kung ano yung obvious na pwede nyong i-transform either from current source to voltage source is yun agad yung i-transform nyo. So, obviously, pwede natin i-transform itong part na to. Right? So, meron tayong current source na merong nakaparallel na dalawang resistor. So, pwede natin i-transform into voltage source na merong nakasiris na resistor. So, pagsamahin muna natin itong parallel combination ng 6 ohm at 3 ohm resistor. So, anong formula nun? Di ba kapag meron tayong dalawang parallel resistor, yung product ng resistance over yung sum ng resistance. So, therefore, yung equivalent resistor nitong 6 ohm tsaka 3 ohm na parallel is 6 ohms times 3 ohms over 6 ohms plus 3 ohms. So, ilan to? 18 over 9 or 2 ohms. Right? Ngayon, ito yung equivalent resistance itong dalawang parallel resistor. So, para matransform natin to into voltage source, ang formula is ohms lo lang. Right? Voltage is equal to current times resistance. So, yung current natin is itong 5 amps. So, 5 amps times yung resistance na nakuha natin is 2 ohms. So, we have... The equivalent voltage is 5 times 2 or 10 volts. Ngayon, itatransform ko na. So, papalitan ko na ito ng voltage source na nakasiris yung resistor. Okay? So, take note, arrow up yung direction ng current natin. So, dapat meron tayong plus minus sa voltage source. So, yung voltage natin is na-compute natin na 10 volt. And then, together doon sa series resistor, yung equivalent resistor na nakuha natin is 2 ohms. Okay? Ngayon, next, pwede naman natin i-transform ito, right? Into current source again. Pero, combine muna natin itong dalawang voltage source. So, meron tayong 10 volts at 5 volts. So, dahil ang polarity nila is minus plus, minus plus, additive. Pwede natin i-add yan, right? So, kapag naka-series, pwede nga i-add yan as 10 plus 5 or 15 volts. So, delete ko na. And then, dahil ang polarity nila is minus plus, minus plus, dapat yung polarity din ng equivalent voltage source is plus minus here. Okay? 15 volts na. Right? So, ito ngayon itatransform natin into current source. So, paano? Yung formula ulit is Ohm's Law. So, this time, current is equal to Voltage over resistance. So, yung voltage natin is 15 volts divided by yung resistance natin, series resistor na 2 ohms. So, yung current natin is 15 volts divided by 2 ohm is 7.5 amps. Okay, so papalitan ko na ulit. So, gagawin ko ng current source with parallel resistor. So, ang value ng current natin is 7.5 amps. So, dahil yung polarity natin kanina sa voltage source is plus minus, right? So, dapat yung direction ng current natin is arrow up. And then, yung equivalent resistance natin is same lang na 2 ohms. Okay, so ano napansin nyo kinalabas ang circuit? Meron na lang tayong parallel resistors with two current source. Okay? Pero, combine ko muna itong 1 ohm tsaka 4 ohm resistor kasi in series sila, right? Add lang natin. So, magiging 1 ohm plus 4 ohm is 5 ohms. 
So, pwede kong i-combine a single current source itong dalawang current source na 7.5 amps sa 3 amps. So, add lang natin kasi para silang naka-arrow up, right? So, meron na tayong 7.5 plus 3 amps is 10.5 amps. So, delete ko na to. I-add ko na lang dito sa so magiging 10.5 amps. Okay? Ngayon, by current divider rule, masasolve na natin si I.O. Right? So, equivalent ngayon yung I.O. sa conductance nitong 7 ohm resistor. So, 1 over 7 all over yung sum ng conductances nitong tatlo. So, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 5. And then, multiplied by the total current source, 10.5 amps. Okay, so gamit na lang tayo ng calculator. Ang masasolve natin I.O. is approximately 1.78 amps. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, source transformation. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.